Because on Saturday night at the Garden, Charles Oakley advanced his reputation as NBA tough guy as a result of his fourth quarter tussle with Seattle's Xavier McDaniel. A reputation such as this is expensive to maintain. $7,500 each. Gets it left corner. Fires no. Rebound Jordan. Dumars went down, knocked down by Jordan, and Mahorn took Jordan down. And now the Bulls, of course, retaliate. We got a fist fight now. And all the folks on both teams are involved. And Doug Collins was shoved to press row, and they're still at it. They're coming down this way. We can get in this thing if we're, if we're into it. At midcourt, Mahorn and Sparrow are pulled apart. And they're throwing things. I wish they'd go the other way with it. Adam and let them and everyone know how unacceptable this defensive performance is. Smith on. There's a flagrant two foul. He's going to get thrown out of the game. And now hopefully cooler heads will prevail. Well, Nick Robinson throwing a punch. Smith coming right back at him. And this has turned ugly. Robinson getting involved. Grabbing Smith after. The usher's trying to get. Smith still trying to throw some punches there. The Usher's quickly trying to break it up. Coach is trying to keep the benches from coming out on the floor. As, oh, another punch is thrown. Anthony, and now Jeffrey's going at it. This is turning into some kind of disaster right now. If they don't hold on to some of these players, Jeffries needs to hold back. Marty Collins still going at Anthony. The Usher's trying to keep the crowd out, too. Anthony's punch was so loud, you could hear it down here, folks. That is that is just unacceptable. Right away called a flagrant two. And then you see Nate Robinson trying to hold Smith back and then shoves him. Robinson escalating it as opposed to helping it and then putting up his fist, throwing the first punch. Just disgraceful. And, and let's see what happened with Anthony, who watch watch Anthony swing a roundhouse right in Jeffrey's face. Smith and Robinson escalating it. There you see Anthony getting in the face. Of Collins, what? Anthony continues. Now watch. This Carmel Anthony throws the punch well, at Marty Collins. Collins. Yeah, yeah, he landed. You see, Collins goes down, and then Jeffries went after his teammate. See, John Donahue, there, the security trying to help his everybody out there. And Jeffries, I thought he hit Jeffries the way no. he's reacting. Field goal percentage. I guess he's doing something right. He's doing something right. Now listen to us, <laughs> right? Luke Logley's checked in for the polls. Here we go. The whistle, and we've got a technical foul going to be called. Let's see who it's going to be on. Is it on Pitney? Scotty better be careful with Joey Crawford. He'll get thrown out. Joey's got a quick fuse. And Luke Logley tries to stop uh -oh. it. Now Pippen, and there, there is Scotty Pippen is gone. That's a bad that play. One thing Scotty Pippen does not need to do, considering the circumstances the last few weeks. And I, Bill Jackson comes over to call him down. Joey's not a guy that you can do that with. There's some no. officials that will give you some room. Joey Crawford will not take that. That's two games now that Scotty's been ejected this year. He was ejected against the Clippers. They lost that game. Scotty needs to get to the locker room right now. He was serving no purpose other than to get himself in further trouble by saying something else. Get to the locker room. I know he's he throws a cheer. My goodness gracious. Oh, my. You don't need this in the league. You got to get him. You got to get him in the locker room right now. If it takes security or whatever, somebody get him into the locker room. This is a lot of frustration you're seeing come out on Scotty Pippen exactly. right now. Is what's happening? You're seeing him. Just the feeling Scotty is is irate. That's the most angry I've ever seen Scotty, and I've been around him a lot of times. Into that next level of thinking that Kobe Bryant has, and Isaiah Thomas has fully embraced it as Olenek gets called for. and gave him a forearm shimmy. He's looking for and hoping for. That's the kind of scoring you want, too. Yeah. McCallum on the baseline for two. Cousins and Smart.
Now that's left over from uh, the steal that Marcus made Lewis with the handle. Back out to Butler, doesn't hesitate, and a good decision by Jimmy Butler, who has 24. Uh oh, uh oh, watch we out. Got a fight. Watch out. Lopez oh, yeah. and Ibaka throwing punches. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. Yeah, they threw some big ones there. They got to get Ibaka out of here now. I don't know who started it, all right, because you could see we were going the other way. Now, right now, Miritich is coming down here now. He's got to, he's got to understand. You got to stay in the game. Your team is going to stay in the game because right now, you know, Lopez and Ibaka will probably get thrown out. Lopez appeared to connect on one of them. Now, keep an eye underneath right here now. Now, as they go, uh oh, Lopez, right? Why he swung down at him? Oh, there it is. Both guys, yeah. both guys landed punches. Now keep an eye. Now watch what happens right here. Uh, a little in the back by Ibaka, and Lopez is telling him now. So the collection, but oh my oh, goodness! Whoa, whoa, whoa! We got we Just got some heated exchanges going on here. A Flalo and Bailey. This has been brewing for a while, and a Flalo is hot. Told you, Belly's no punk. He had Aaron Aflalo in a headlock. He was going to break his neck. And there's no question that he faces him up and then just continues. Oh! Aflalo with a full swing. Yeah, and then, and then here, Belly's got He's going to break his neck right here. He got him in a headlock like he's his little brother right here. That was a real cheap shot by Aflalo, though. That's a punk move right there.